Okay, so I'm going to teach you how to do your row operations with your graphing calculator so that you can write, um, you can solve this system. All right, so I've entered matrix A into the edit button for your matrix um, functions. So I went over to edit and I entered matrix A here. So this is the system we're solving, 3x plus 4y equals 3 and x minus 2y equals negative 4. So again, 3x plus 4y equals 3, and x minus 2y equals negative 4. Okay, and so all I did there was to get that to pop up on my screen so I could look at it. <coughs> I pressed second matrix, and I just hit enter for matrix A. Okay, so we're going to put this in reduced row echelon form. So what I want here in the top of the screen here, for here in the top row is a one. So I just easily could do a row swap here. And so to do that, so there's matrix A. Okay, so to do that, I'm just going to hit second matrix and go over to math. And then I'm going to arrow up to row swap number C. Okay, hit enter. <coughs> okay, now I have to tell the calculator what matrix I'm working on. So second x inverse, we're going to do matrix A. Okay, and we're going to hit parentheses now. And then we're going to swap um, one and two. So we're going to, to put a comma and then row one, comma, row two, and then hit enter. And what I want to do before I hit en not enter, sorry, um, parentheses. Um, before I hit enter, I want to actually store my new matrix in matrix A. So I'm going to hit the button here, store, and I'm going to say store it over the top of matrix A. So it's just going to replace the old matrix that we had with this new matrix. So watch here, and you can see there what happened was that <coughs> rows 1 and row 2 switched places. Okay, so now what we want to do is get this 3 to a 0, right? So we're going to multiply the top row times 3, negative 3, and then add it to row 2. So we're going to do another row operation here. We're going to hit second x inverse. We're going to go over to math. And this time, we're going to multiply times a row and then add, right? And so what we're going to do here is hit enter. And we want to multiply that top row times negative 3. So we're going to tap negative 3, comma. Now we're going to go tell it what matrix to multiply negative 3 by. So second matrix, and then we're going to hit A, <coughs> comma. And we want to multiply negative 3 times row 1. So we're going to put 1 and then comma and add it. So that was the multiply times row 1. And now we're going to add it to row 2 and then hit and parentheses and then we're going to store it over the top of our old matrix a so second matrix and put it there and then hit enter and now that's our new matrix so our first column is done now we're going to switch over to um, the second column and we're going to get a one down here in this bottom position so we're going to multiply that entire column by one tenth so if you're ready to do that going to hit second matrix, go over to math, and this time we're just going to do multiply a row by a constant. So we're going to do E, all right? So we're going to do one-tenth, and then uh, matrix A. we got to get our matrix here. And then we're going to, oh, let me go get a comma between them or I'm going to get an error here. So second, insert a comma. All right, matrix A and then comma. And we want to multiply one-tenth times row two. Close the parentheses and then we're going to store it over the top of our old matrix A and hit enter. All right, so now we are almost in reduced row echelon form. Last thing we want to do here is change this negative 2 to a 0. So we're going to multiply the bottom row times positive 2 and then add it to the top row and replace the top row. Okay, so we're going to go back and do the multiply add operation again. So we're going to go second x inverse over to the matrix math and we're going to do F times a row plus a row. 
Okay, so we're going to hit enter. And we want to multiply that bottom row times positive 2. So 2, comma, and then we definitely have to tell it what matrix we're working on. Matrix A, comma. And we're going to multiply 2 times row 2 and then add it to row 1 and close those parentheses up and then store it over the top of our old matrix A and hit enter. And there we have solved our system. So x equals negative 1 and y equals 3 halves. So that's how you use your row operations um, with your graphing calculator to help you um, convert a system, a matrix, an augmented matrix to reduced row echelon form. Hope that helped.